Commander, Caden was looking for you. I believe he's in the crew quarters. The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You turn it into a regular Marine. Yes, well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. How's Jacob? He'll be okay. Oh, glad to hear it. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Glad we got out early. Commander? What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out, or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equals three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. Hey, what's going on? You got a minute? Sure, Caden. What's up? You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team, they seem like, like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if they're more like them, trapped inside Cerberus, struggling to get out? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many, the choice to leave someone behind, until you're in that moment, I... So, yeah, you know, I don't know. We don't have time to dwell on it. If people come to us, we help them when we can, but the war is our primary focus. Of course. There are people all over the universe that need our help. The faster we take down the Reapers, the more we can save. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once? Ever? Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right, exactly. But so you never saw this coming from him. From him. Sorry. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Does it matter what he was, Caden? what good he may have done in the past. He's become power hungry. He's deluded and wrong. But this, no. I never saw this coming from him. Mm. Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. <laughs> I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. Sira. You bet. Hey, if you get a moment, we should head out to the Citadel for a snack. I know a place that uh, still has steak. Are you sure you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my C-Sec days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had now. I tracked down this guy, Saren. 
stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was with Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. Hey, Commander. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Don't mind us. Just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that, too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega? Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. I had to kill them by myself. Two worm necks, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. <laughs> the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass Marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. But mostly me. I find using my biotics to toss someone across the room is a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Lyra. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. <sighs> well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. I'm tired. I need a folding chair or something. Has Elenko had media training? He just gave me this steady stare during our interview. You and this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming, and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. I trust you, Commander. When you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals, otherwise... You know, next time we're at the Citadel, I think I might hit a nightclub. You should join me.
Signal confirmed. something. Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. Magnified biotics, eh? Great. What's our strategy? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. We don't need something that dangerous running around during a war. We locate the commandos, then finish the job. As you wish. Though I'd like to know exactly who sent the distress call. We'll find out soon enough. There's heat coming off that shuttle. Someone just used it. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder.
this was the Commando's captain, it seems they gave their lives fighting the Reapers. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's inside the Great Hall. So the Commandos started the purge after all. This place is a lost cause if it's already crawling with Reapers. Let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara? It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here. And I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned even as our galaxy crumbles. Find your daughters fast. I'm setting off a bomb the Commandos brought here. The Jestakar Code demands I discover what happened to my children in this monastery. I cannot ignore it. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. This place is enormous. There must have been thousands of people living here. I haven't seen any survivors. Me neither. And I bet most of them were civilians. What is that?
And Asari, what have the Reapers done? Soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardadyakshi. They have Mother, been. They have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. There's a bomb in the Great Hall. We're setting it off, so find your sister quickly. A bomb? But I thought you came to rescue us. I'm here because this place is a liability. A liability? My friends have been killed, turned into... Faler, we did not come to argue. No, you came to destroy us. Faler! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. Look for that bomb. I doubt we'll miss it. need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came.
It doesn't feel right seeing dead soldiers in a monastery. Asari High Command couldn't take a chance with Ardat Yakshi. Something had to be done. Sending commandos with explosives is more damage control than a real plan, Lyra. There's the bomb. And Falaire. Rila. Rila, wake up. Falaire. Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? Not without a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. Take the elevator. Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go. Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila!
there wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer. The code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so much stronger than I was. Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I meant it when I said the galaxy needs you against the Reapers. You were right. It's past time I joined your battle. I'll fight in your armies, Shepard, once I speak with Valer. I'll be waiting. Not for long. Thank you, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Liara mentioned something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Glad you talked to Mara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court martial us after we save the galaxy. Commander? What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. It wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jar. So... I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? 
the Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. How's it going? Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Commander. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but... Converting other life forms into Reapers? I, I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. That was a rough mission. The Reapers are an ingenious and ruthless enemy. Poor Rila. Ingenious and ruthless. The worst kind. <sighs> Never met a real Ardot Yakshi. Not that I know of, anyway. I think I dodged a bullet there. Seriously, I think I would have been a goner. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas relay. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. So, are you doing a story on the Asari who were turned into Reaper creatures? The Ardat Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. Does Dr. Tassoni ever let you in her room? Because she keeps me out. I've always loved the M35, Mako. It's got heart, you know? Oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Hey there. Hey. The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you.
Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again. Though I wish it were under better circumstances. I'd hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Renok? Correct, Commander. Three hundred years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. Whatever mistakes the Quarians made in the past, this attack was the right plan. The Geth only fought in self-defense. They're synthetic. They don't need a planet. They could have moved to a space station. We don't need a planet. The flotilla has survived for three centuries. With the Council just barely tolerating you. You've paid for your people's mistakes. It's time to reclaim your world. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system. When this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Gerald. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And when the Geth are weakened, you strike hard. It's a hell of a risk, Commander. But if you can pull it off... Just be ready, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vast Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll help your people win this war, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. <laughs>